Attach the drainage collection cup to the canister. I really have this thing against saying good morning anymore. I have the thing about saying it. Good morning. <laughs> you don't have to say it, I will. Okay. So I might need to reschedule going over to my friend's house because I just got an email from my neurologist that she wants to have a video appointment today at 2.30. Oh. Okay. Basically, I'm just transferring a prescription to a different pharmacy, so I'm really unsure why. I don't really understand what exactly is happening, but that's fine. I can do a video visit today. I just need to text my friend and see if I should come. Well, let me wait to hear back from the, neuro the neurologist <coughs> and see if that actually happens. I'll just wait and see. I think my friend is flexible. So if I do need to come later and the video visit would be quick. I believe that's what she said. So, maybe I'll go a little later. She lives like two minutes away, so it will be fine. And today's been a good day. I've almost burst into tears like seven times today because my baby makes me really grateful and thankful and happy and he's so sweet. He's just so sweet. So, Today's been just full of sweet little moments. Also, he learned how to drink from a straw this morning. I had some pureed, or it's not pureed, it's in my little tiny food processor. So it's diced, uh, minced, minced beet and coconut milk. So it's like a pink, bright pink, like smoothie drink type thing and I put it in his tiny little cup with a little straw and he learned how to drink from the straw. Not reliably, but a few times we could tell like, oh, he definitely <coughs> got it out. Peter and I are just like soaking up those sorts of little moments. It's so fun. It's really, really fun to watch a child explore and discover their world for the first time. Peter's been working on the computer all morning and he's going up to finish packing all the orders, which he'll probably be working on like even when I leave the house. Um, but the plan is I'll go over to my friend's house and she has twin boys that are a similar age to Elijah. So I'll go over there for play date and then when I'm done, I'll come back home and pick up Peter and the packages um, whatever he has finished and we'll drop those off at the post office and then we'll go to the pool because the pool season is ending. Ah, I think that's a little sad, but it's okay. So the hours are still normal this week. So I'm like, we gotta go. And it's super hot and muggy. So it's a good day to go to the pool. And we'll go to the pool, at least that's the plan. And <clears throat> what else? Uh, while Elijah was taking a nap this morning, I signed all the packing slips. It was perfect timing. Peter finished printing all the packing slips. The baby went to sleep. I came in, I signed them all. And it was really sweet because I was sitting on the queen, the queen bed, as we call it, the bed on the second floor. And I was signing all these and Harry came and sat on my lap and purred on my lap while I was signing all these packing slips. It was really sweet. And all is well. All is well. I hope your day's going well. Thanks for tuning into our vlog. Like, thanks for clicking that button and wanting to hang out with us. Let's go hang out. Birthday decorations. Swedish dolly boy. Oh, you're so tired. In his elderly age, he's almost 10. He, oh my. Hold on one second. It's 
Speaking of almost 10 years old, here's another creature. I look up and I could just see his eyes staring back at me. Hey bud, you're very sweet. <coughs> Not Ollie's old age. He mostly just sleeps the majority of the daytime. I mean, he goes outside a bunch and he'll go outside and lay outside. He'll go outside and run a little. He and Peter and Elijah take a walk every morning, like about a mile and then takes a nap and so he's like that and then as evening approaches he's like ready to play and sometimes gets a little crazy crazy dog so it's all good and as I'm going upstairs I have one more thing I want to show you it's so cute we found a coat for Elijah it's so cute we got the 12 month because I don't know how much he's gonna grow between now and cold. He currently wears mostly three to six month stuff, but I figure a coat, it's not stretchy. So we tried it on him. It covers his, like his arms only go to here, but I thought that's good. So he doesn't have to wear gloves or mittens. He can just wear his long sleeves. <laughs> <clears throat> But we got this at the kids consignment store that's once upon a child. Those are like everywhere in the US. Um, it was $8.50. And I'm pretty sure if I went to any store, like even Walmart, I bet coats are more than that. So I'm feeling pretty good about that price. And it looks brand new, like it was probably never used. So it's in good condition, ready for lots of cold fun times. That was a whirlwind. I was working on packing up a whole bunch of orders from the online store. Oh, are you talking to me? I was talking to the people and I just got done and we gotta run to get to the post office. But the good news is we're gonna go to the pool after the post office. Little reward after a long day's work. Are you able to reach those? Yeah, I got it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we made it to the post office and Peter's dropping the stuff off. And I had a lot of fun with my friend. It was awesome. Our boys are four months apart, so it's just fun. It's really fun. And I wanted to update you guys from the dentist yesterday because I signed off of yesterday's vlog in a kind of a salty mood. Like, I was, I was done. My mouth feels good, just a tiny bit sore, but all is well and I'm thankful. Oh yeah, and I had my neurology appointment and I think all is well and she's going to send in prescription and whatever so that I can do the biopsy at a home infusion at my house so that was good I got that done and then I headed to my friend's house I wish that we could bring the camera but we realized that it would be kind of strange to have the camera in like a swimming environment with kids in their bathing suits and like uh, we just don't feel great bringing the camera in there so just imagine a magical pool late afternoon. We're gonna go eat some dinner at the little tables, give a sandwich and some food for him. So we're gonna go have fun. Let's have fun. I would say it's haul time. Haul time? Oh. I cannot believe the stuff already got here. I think it was, yeah, it was. How? Okay, that's confusing. That's Yesterday, you guys took the incredible journey with me of placing an order for some pharmaceutical items, as I call it. So my insurance gives me some money toward, like there's this catalog that I can order like $40 per quarter of the year. It's like over the counter items. Yeah. So let's do a pharmaceutical haul. Could you hand me the scissors? If there are any. Sure we have scissors. In our house. There are supposed to be scissors. Oh, maybe 
The little fly gnats are coming to these flowers. Oh, that's, or maybe they're from this flower. Yeah, perhaps. Okay, so I ordered these, what are these? Oh, it even is a dispenser. Hand wipe packets, uh, like antibacterial. So like, you know, you go to a restaurant and you wipe the table down. These, this is going well. I'm probably gonna end up with an injury. I have to buy more pharmaceutical items. All right, that was a pretty good find to be able to get these little packets. That's pretty good. Feeling pretty good about that purchase. All right, cotton balls, great. Calcium citrate, great. Magnesium, and last but certainly not least, let's see, did I miss anything? All right, Peter, we have the Neil Med. Why it doesn't? Camera doesn't stay in focus. Well, if you shift it so it doesn't have the bright in the background, it'll help. Earwax kit, not for me. For me. Oh. I do not need an earwax kit. <laughs> Your doctor begs to differ. No, he said if your hearing is fine, you don't need to do anything. You've said what a few times lately. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. What do you do? I am uncertain, but there is a catcher involved. Oh, we should have gotten the earwax candle thing. We could certainly do that. All right, is that real? this is elaborate. Yeah, I think the earwax candle is real. Mm. Okay, there are a lot of doodads and bobbits. So where are the, okay, here we go. I'm kind of nervous Complete actually. removal, earwax removal kit. Oh. <laughs> Method for earwax removal. 10 drops of this okay. per ear. Plug ears for 10 minutes. Okay. So you can do that while you do the dishes. Great. I saw you were doing the dishes. Yeah. And then rinse each ear for 10 seconds with this nozzle okay. thingy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we're doing it? Yeah. Okay. 10 drops of this. And then, um, how does this work? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, wait. What does uh, that feel like? It feels awful. Here you go, here you go. Put this in your ear. <laughs> I'm sorry, that feels awful. Oh, wow. Is that bad? Feels like I'm underwater. Oh, no. Sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then. Did it go in my ear? Am I, like, or is it sitting in there? It looks like it went in. Okay, okay. Here you go. Or maybe, did I not do enough? Maybe the drops weren't as big. Oh, yep, sounded squitchy. Oh, wow. Is that bad? I mean, feels like I have water in my ears. Oh, that's awful. Cool. So are you actually going to be able to do the dishes? Can you hear me? Very little. Oh. It's time to be like rinse Peter's ears out, but then I realized that these instructions are kind of a different setup, so now I need to frantically look. Oh, maybe it says it on here. Ingredients. Remove earplugs. Attach the drainage collection cup to the canister to avoid the rinse solution. So, how do you get this off? I guess it's a ready, set, go thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think come out? I don't know. Does it still sound like you're underwater over there? So then, I wonder what this little scooper is for. I suppose we could have just gone to the sink. But we had to do it for the camera. So then I think it said, put your head left, right. It feels awful. It seems like nothing came out. That's bummer. And then I wonder what the scooper's for. There's a whole thing about the scooper right here. 
club is designed with a stubby, bumpy surface, dislodge material. Do the bumpy, I guess. But I'd love to know what the other end is. <laughs> Should we demand a refund? <laughs> Nothing came out. It could be that this machine didn't work so good. I mean, it seemed like it worked as it's supposed to. All right. We need like a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. You should get a congrats, like a high five or something. Thanks. For real. He did that on the camera just for you guys because he would not normally want to do that. But I guess it helps that I didn't give him a heads up that it came and now I'm opening it. Like, here it is. All right, well, I've seen other people do like clean out their ears on YouTube and I pretty much can't watch because then they show the aftermath. I don't know, but don't worry, we didn't show anything because there was nothing to show. All right guys, thanks for joining us as always. See you later.